and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel well hello nice to meet you and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure that you subscribe and beside the subscribe button there's a bell button make sure that you click that one as well so you will be notified every time that I have a new video like this for sure all of us are familiar with the saying browse on fleek or Kila is live so today I'm gonna be sharing with you how do I trim or how do I groom or how do I take care of my brows brows is one of the most important feature of our face and today I'm gonna be sharing with you some guide and tips on how I do my brows and how I take care of them so let's get started so first thing we need to do is to shape our brows some people say in order for you to get or to know the perfect shape of your brows is you need to measure it start from your nostril so that's where your brow should start and then from nostril to iris that's where your arc should be and then nostril to the corner of your eye then that's where your tail should end and if you've been following that technique that's fine if it works for you you don't need to change that but in my case that is not applicable because I do have a large nose meaning I have a wide nostril and if I follow that technique then my brows will start from here and that means I need to trim this area which I don't think is kind of cool okay I will get a pen can you imagine if my brows start from there? That will look so weird, right? And so I learned this technique from Wayne Goss, which he said, instead of starting from the nostril, you need to start from the bridge of your nose, which will make more sense, especially those who have a large nose or a wide nostril, like me. And then, nostril to iris that will be your arc and then nostril to the outer corner of your eye i will put wayne Doss youtube account down below on the description box so you can also check his channel and check his other videos he is amazing he is one of the youtube creator and makeup artists that i look up to so yeah i learned a lot of techniques from him so this is how he demonstrated just imagine if my brows start from here like that then it will give then it will give my face an illusion of wider forehead a much wider nose which I don't want to not what I'm aiming for and not the goal but if I follow the bridge of the nose then it will give an illusion to my face with a narrow nose wait can you see the difference that from this okay so let's remove this and let us now shape our brows so I will start from bridge of the nose I'll mark that Oops. There. nostril to iris that will be my art and then nostril to corner that will be the end it's up to you guys how you want to shape your brows but me I just follow the natural shape and I start from the bottom it is important for you to draw a line first so that you will know what your brows will look like when you take out the excess hair. So this is how I want my brows to look like. Now that we already know how to shape our brows, it's now time to trim it. Always go against the direction of the natural hair growth. Lift my brows a little bit. So now let's do the upper part. Just be very careful on this part because if you lose control of the blade, you don't want to lose all your hair. That's not cool. It's important to have a well-groomed brows because then it will be easier for you to fill in your brows if it's well groomed and trimmed and perfectly shaped okay so third part is filling in the brows or coloring your brows 
Before, the rule of thumb when choosing the color for your brows, it should be one shade lighter than your hair color. If you've been following that, that's totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. I myself still follow that rule. But nowadays, you can just put any shade or any color on your brows. It depends on what you prefer. You can use any product or any formula you are comfortable with. Some people, they prefer pencil because it's easier to shape, it's easier to draw. Some people, they want powder. Me, I prefer powder because this is where I started. And some people, they prefer the brow pomade. So I will show you three ways on how to fill your brows. Let's start with pencil. Since we already lined our brows, then I will just fill in the middle and then stop until here. You can use your eyebrow brush or you can use a spoolie to make it look softer. This is the easiest way to fill your brows. It's beginner friendly, it's budget friendly because you are just going to use one product. Way number two, same thing, line the lower part and upper part of your brow. I use eyebrow powder. I will just get this dark one and just fill in the center just like what we did. In this way, your brows will look more defined and bonga. This is how I normally do my brows. I line it with pencil first and then fill in with eyebrow powder. So same thing, I just fill in half of the brows and whatever the excess, I just brush it into the inner part. In this way, it will give that gradient effect where it's lighter on the inner part and getting darker and darker to the outer part. If you find it very dark, then just get your spoolie. This is what I call my eraser and just brush it. In this way, the color will tone down. It will look more natural. Third step. This is optional. It's okay if you don't want to do it. If you're happy with your brows like that, that's totally fine. But if you want additional or if you want to make extra for your brows, then you can use a brow mascara. So I just put it in the center and then again, get my spoolie and then brush it evenly. Brow mascara will make your brows look fuller, bolder, and it will also help for your brow hair to stay in place. One thing I like about putting eyebrow mascara is it adds color to my brow hair. It will match my hair color. If my hair doesn't have any color, doesn't have any color. If my hair is black, which is the natural color of my hair, I don't do this extra step. The reason why I just put eyebrow mascara so that it will match the color of my hair. So that's it guys. If you learned something today and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like it, and also share with me what is your favorite eyebrow product so I can try it as well. Leave a comment down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. Bye!